Stay safe as you visit Kenya's magnificent beaches. Holidays can be short, don't make life that short. Kenya Maritime Authority ensures your safety in the Kenyan waters. Are you playing your part? Wear your life jacket before going on board. Keep a close watch on children when swimming. Do not stand, refuse to board a full boat. Stay away from the waters if you're drinking alcohol. Holidays are fun but don't make it this the last time you enjoy. Kenya Maritime Authority ensures your safety in water. Our call and rescue center is open 24 hours. In case of emergencies, call. Build them a house that years can't touch. Build them a home that makes them feel safe and loved. Build them a house that lives up to your dreams. When you build a home, build it with Nguvu Cement from Bamburi that is reliable and trusted to build durable structures. Because homes are built to last forever. Awesome. Brought to you by Kenya Engineer, Kenya Maritime Authority and Bamboo Resament. Awesome. Everything around you has been engineered. Are you tired of reading sensational news items on government contracts? You know the propaganda type of I don't know what the bank has given some billions to some road projects. You know what I'm talking about. Are you in need of in-depth analysis of how engineering has influenced Kenya or rather revolutionized humanity? And of course you've heard about the Malaysia, the Singapore, the Tattoo cities. Do you want to know the story behind the tragedies, collapsed buildings or know the mightier power in those Kawasaki engines? Or passionate about technology and innovation, the iWatch thing? The Akina CGR, the Storos, Ati How Can Railway Be Standard and Have Gauges? Or are you looking for tenders, engineering jobs, suppliers? Then join the Kenya Engineering Community. Get a copy by dialing 0719-207712. Or join the Kenya Engineer Online Community. www.kenyaengineer.co.com Did you know only 20% of Kenyan land is considered fertile? 75% of total labor force in Kenya is based on agriculture. At least 50% of Kenyans are food insecure. Food insecurity increases poverty levels and subsequently increases crime levels. Kofi and tea farming provides 45% of wage employment in agriculture. From the food we eat to the clothes we wear, agriculture remains the core aspect. Think about it. There's a farmer somewhere in Kenya toiling all day to ensure his plants not only grow to maturity but make it to the market and eventually on your table as a food product. Season in, season out, Kenya's food supply depends greatly on this farmer such that should anything go wrong during the planting season, then farming becomes inevitable. A supply shortage in agriculture not only affects you as the consumer, but the economy as a whole. Notwithstanding the fact that only 20% of Kenyan land is suitable for farming, agriculture has always been the backbone of Kenya's economy. The sector directly contributes 26% of country's gross domestic product, GDP, providing employment, income and food security needs to over 80% of the Kenyan population. In addition, agriculture indirectly accounts for another 27% of the GDP through manufacturing, distribution and other services related to subsectors. The maritime industry uh, very much regulates the economy. 
it's a key driver of the economy. Uh, especially when you consider that 95% of our international trade in terms of imports and exports comes by sea. We're talking here of our exports of our agricultural you know, products. Between 1895 and 1963, colonialists preferred a settler to smallholder farmers. Most of the settlers engaged in large-scale production of coffee for exportation but relying on local labor in the farms. A breakthrough for local farmers came towards the end of colonial period. With heightened independence pressure from the Mau Mau, the colonial government formulated the Swinaton plan an ingenious plan that aimed at developing a class of African commercial farmers who would be allowed to produce crops for export. The situation has remained the same even today. Statistics indicate that almost 83% of Kenya's land is classified as low potential. This grim statistics basically means that without intervention, a majority of Kenya's land is basically unproductive land. Considering that 80% of Kenyans depend directly on agriculture, the intervention was long overdue. By 1961, Kenya could feed its 8.4 million people at more than 10% above World Health Organization requirement. During this period, a basic food crop production improved significantly and the country reached a food sufficient level. According to observers, the economy grew and the agriculture subsector performed well in the next 10 years. In the period between 1965 and 1981, the country's real GDP per capita rose at an average rate of 2.5% a year, while agriculture's value addition grew at an annual rate of almost 5%. However, as the population continued to grow and the land resource became overutilized, food production decreased significantly. The policies that were put in place were not functional. The policies were in paper, but the situation at the farm was different. In the 1990s, yield levels worsened for all basic food crops and the harvested areas for the most important basic food crops, especially maize, the staple food in Kenya. This worrying performance had a direct impact on Kenyans. At least 50% of the population is food insecure. Increasing poverty levels led to the emergence of slums in urban areas and the poverty has been linked to increased crime rate in Kenya. We have a, a multifaceted um, development approach, mainly to spur development on agriculture and fisheries and any other that can bring income to the people because our main mandate is to see that the income per person is increased. We look at aspects that can spur development in this region. One thing we are saying when we are in this region we have a minute or a micro view of what is happening here and that is how we are able to, inter to interfere. One thing we have dealt with is the issue of water resources. Water is a component of agriculture and important for agricultural production because the extensive farming we used to do, to date maybe that's limited. Food security has been a menace for the Kenyan economy with half of the Kenyan population being food insecure. Experts now agree that the application of engineering technology would actually lower production costs increase land yields, improve incomes, and contribute to economic
involvement of the engineer in the agricultural sector has not only increased food production, but also seen an increase in Kenya's economic status. Through these technologies, farmers are now able to appropriate agricultural technology to increase food production. back Kenya to where it was in terms of agricultural production, some proposals were made. One that stood out and that seemed to work was the effort to increase production through introducing technology in agriculture. Increasing and quality farm produce relies on four factors. Soil quality, timely and effective land preparation, timely planting, adequate watering, pest and disease control, timely and effective harvesting. In each of these sections, there is an engineer involved. Agricultural production seems to involve almost all forms of engineers. The major solution introduced by engineers to be able to control the different sections was mechanization of agriculture. Agricultural mechanization is the use of technologies to increase agricultural production through efficient use of labor, the timeliness of operations, and while maintaining an optimum quality of produce. Current mechanized agriculture includes the use of tractors, trucks, combined harvesters, airplanes or crop dusters, helicopters and other vehicles for crop production. Mechanization of agriculture presented an opportunity for engineers to develop methods and design equipment that today's farmers need for land preparation, planting and harvesting. The role of the agricultural engineer is to suggest, develop and implement agricultural, horticultural and forestry machinery and processes that are user-friendly and effective. The agricultural engineer also advises farmers, companies and government on sustainable land use of maximum production. <music> Through research and wide scientific knowledge, the agriculture engineer is well posed to understand soil composition in Kenya and advice on crops that are suitable for these soils. Mechanization of agriculture focuses on high productivity systems that are easy to use and affordable to farmers. In the 19th century, mechanized agriculture was still based on excessive labor input either through human or through animals. For example, farmers used animals like oxen and donkeys for land preparation and cultivation. The technology was simply a large djembe that was being pulled by the animals to cultivate their land. Although the process was as tedious to the animals as the human labor, it was considered faster. Early innovations involving land preparation involved the use of tractors significantly accelerated agricultural productivity. With tractors, the amount of time and labor put into land preparation and planting was reduced. Once the crop has been planted, it needs to be maintained in order to reach its potential. 
Maintenance required for the crops include adequate watering and pest control. Engineers needed to combat the perennial problem of low rainfall and reduce the over-reliance on rain to water fields. Over 80% of Kenya's land is arid or semi-arid and therefore needs irrigation. Irrigation boosts production by threefold and can be done even by small-scale farmers. Irrigation depends on availability of water and generally involves harnessing of water for agricultural use. Different crops have different needs and therefore the mode of irrigation varies. In Kenya, irrigation is done through flooding like in rice farms and fish farming. Technologies involved here pump, direct the water into the fields and when need be, pump it out to allow more water. Flooding uses a lot of water and is therefore used only when necessary. Engineers have since introduced systems referred to as localized irrigation. Localized irrigation is a system in which water is distributed through piped network and under low pressure. This method of irrigation is considered water efficient and effective for many crops. Examples of localized irrigation methods include drip irrigation and sprinkler irrigation systems. In fish farming, there has been realization of effective investment in the water control technology, rehabilitation and modernization of infrastructure of the existing schemes. To avoid high pumping costs, gravity irrigation systems have been introduced, increased water harvesting and development of water storage infrastructure. Capacity building in irrigation and drainage research and water management is also mandatory. In livestock rearing, implementation of portable and friendly equipment for milking has seen an increased production in milk supply. Food engineers are involved in food processing, food machinery, packaging, ingredient manufacturing. They've also ensured the safety of food produced and the preservation of the crops. The agricultural engineer has made farming more sustainable, safe and environmentally friendly. By finding modernized solutions to reduce crop loss, agricultural engineers have invented and implemented technologies that reduce damage during handling, sorting, packing and processing. Mechanized agriculture uses agricultural machinery to increase farm worker productivity. Powered machinery has replaced many jobs formerly carried out by men or animals such as oxen, horses and mules. This has been a great challenge for mechanization because communities have resisted it. In 2006, nearly 63,000 tea pickers in Kenya opposed the introduction of tea harvesting machines fearing that the machinery would leave them jobless. But experts have analyzed the situation and are convinced that increased agricultural produce will give rise to industries which will in turn increase employment opportunities. The launch of Vision 2030, a roadmap for the country's economic and social development, highlighted agriculture as a key subsector in transforming Kenya to a middle country. Vision 2030 calls for the implementation of consolidated agricultural reform legislation, a reduction of fertilizer costs, livestock disease-free zones, and irrigation projects for arid and semi-arid land. According to analysts, diversification also presents an opportunity for the sector to benefit from exploiting potential in agro-processing regional markets and encouraging private sector-led development of the sector. Analysts also call for joint efforts to environmental sustainability. Pressure on land and increasing rural poverty have led increasingly to agricultural practices that conflict with the environment and constraints to women resource access. To this end, Kenya has adopted several green economy related approaches and policies which include implementing renewable energy feed-in tariffs in 2008, embedding sustainable natural resource utilization in its 2010 constitution and mainstreaming green economy in its second medium plan 2013. 2017. Emphasis now shifts to smart investment in agriculture to boost productivity and protect scarce natural resources. Latest report on Kenya's journey towards a greener economy proposes a scaling up effort in agroforestry, sustainable water management, 
such as rainwater harvesting for irrigation, education, training and capacity building, mainly in soil and water management and research and development. Therefore, engineers play an important role in agricultural production, specifically in analyzing agricultural operations and weighing the use of new technologies and methods to increase yields, improve land use and conserve resources like seed, water, fertilizers, pesticides and fuel. Green agricultural practices such as organic farming, fish farming and post-harvest loss reduction can greatly enhance job creation, nutrition and food security. In our next episode, we look at the education scene in Kenya. Join us next week and find out how engineers are educated in Kenya and the efforts by different institutions and stakeholders in improving education in Kenya. Build them a house that years can't touch. Build them a home that makes them feel safe and loved. Build them a house that lives up to your dreams. When you build a home, build it with Nguvu Cement from Bamburi that is reliable and trusted to build durable structures. Because homes are built to last forever. safe as you visit Kenya's magnificent beaches. Holidays can be short, don't make life that short. Kenya Maritime Authority ensures your safety in the Kenyan waters. Are you playing your part? Wear your life jacket before going on board. Keep a close watch on children when swimming. Do not stand, refuse to board a full boat. Stay away from the waters if you're drinking alcohol. Holidays are fun but don't make it this the last time you enjoy. Kenya Maritime Authority ensures your safety in water. Our call and rescue center is open 24 hours. In case of emergencies, call. <laughs> 